everyone. It is February. We are in month two of the Power and Grace Leader Show on this amazing new platform. And I'm just so excited about the amazing women that you are about to meet, that you're going to get the opportunity to hear from and glean from and learn from. My name is Siobhan Annette. I'm the creator of the Power and Grace Leader Show. And I am honored to be serving you in this capacity to present to you amazing women in leadership so that you are encouraged to also step forward and be the amazing woman that God has created and ordained for you to be in this season. This is the love month, February, right? We celebrate Valentine's Day on this month, but we're, what we're going to be focusing on is loving you. We're going to focus on the fact that you are designed by God. And that is the theme of this month. You are designed by God. So it's time for you to walk in your authenticity. It's time for you to walk boldly and courageously as a woman in leadership and do it God's way. So just get ready for the excitement of this month, for the women that are going to pour out to you this month. But first up, my first guest is Miss Sierra Mason. Mason. Um, she's amazing, but her name is Sierra Mason. And um, she is just a wonderful woman of God, a powerful one of, woman of God. So just get ready for what's about to take place. You will uh, be changed after this conversation. Hello everyone. So again, my name is Siobhan Annette and I am here with my amazing sister, Powerhouse. I'm telling you, this woman of God is no joke. Miss Sierra Mason. I love I you so much, Sierra, and I'm so glad you're here with me. You know I love you back. I do. <laughs> So Sierra um, is definitely an amazing woman of God. She is an author as well as an amazing leader um, in ministry and business. Her and her husband are a dynamic team. Team Mason are doing great, great things. Um, she has a community called Raising Women, a family, a tribe. Let me say it right. Yeah. A family, a tribe of amazing women yeah. that she is helping to raise up to really step into their purpose. And so we're going to glean so much from you today. Today, Sierra, I already know in this conversation, so I'm excited. So I did a little introduction, Sierra, but I'll let you introduce yourself officially. Beautiful. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Siobhan, for of allowing course. me to be with you today. I am so <laughs> excited. Um, but my name, as she said, is Sierra Mason. I am a wife. I am a mother. I am an author. I am a prophet of God. I am a carrier of his gospel. Hallelujah. Ooh, I feel fire already. I am a carrier of his gospel. I am a lover of women. Men. I love to love on women and to just encourage them and empower them and to push them into being who God mm. ordained for them Glory to be. To uh, I love, love, love seeing women free from fear. Yes, come on. That That's part it. right there. Uh, if I if I could do that every day, right. my life would be yes. literally complete. To mm. see women break away from fear and to fully Ooh. pursue what it is that God has placed within them, right? With with just uh, with a relentless yes. pursuit. Ooh. That is my life's purpose. Oh. That brings me the most joy. Yes, Sierra. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So yeah. you all see yeah. what's about to happen <laughs> in this conversation. And I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sierra, look, y'all, I'm ready. I'm okay. ready though. I'm go, ready for it. Uh-uh. No, don't even step <laughs> nothing down. We're going to stay up, stay high, and, and just let God have his way. Yes, Lord. So my first question for you is how, how important is it for women to love themselves? Because we are in this series called We Are Designed by God. Yeah. His women, we are designed by God. So yeah. how important is it for women to really love themselves? It is extremely important. Yes. Uh, because it's hard for you to, A, get someone else to love you mm. when you don't love yourself. Wow. Right? Wow. And a lot of times we're looking for other people to feed us that which God has already given us the ability to do, you know, on our yes. own. Right? Uh, he's placed everything within us that we need to be successful to thrive to, to 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 go out and to accomplish and to pursue right yes. um but a lot of times we allow the externals to define us wow. and to say what we aren't, yeah. what we can't be, what we can't do, right? Yeah. Um, but it's when you love yourself from Ooh. the inside yes. that I can say, hold on, wait a minute. I know who created me. <laughs> I, I know who made me, right? And he said I was fearfully and wonderfully yes. made. So there's no flaw right That's here, it. right? That's so it. so when I come into agreement with what God has said, it's easy. Wow. It's easy, easy to love what he's made yeah. and created in me. 
Wow. Right? But we got we to do some work inside yes, first yes. in order for it to exude on the outside. Yes, that's so good, Sierra. Yeah. And it is yeah. that internal work that shows up on the outside. And I love that right. you said it exudes from the outside, on the outside. Right. And Sierra, I just love what you said. It's about loving and, and understanding the capacity already in you. Yes. Right? Sometimes we're looking for other people to fulfill or validate us. Come on. But we can't let Come on. anybody else validate us. We will always feel like they're coming up short yeah you will always end up getting disappointed always so if you've been disappointed always. even in the realm of relationships because yeah. someone dropped you because you were looking for them to give you something that mm. only god mm. can give you yes and that is it look sierra come on. sit come on <laughs> This is the image that I got yeah. though when you were talking, thinking about validation. I thought about, you know, when you go to park your car yes. uh, and, and you, you they give you the ticket and they say, you know, you can get it validated. Yeah. Like on, the only person that can validate you is the one that has authority. You can't bring uh, go to go to drive out of the parking garage and say, "Oh, look, uh, Tiffany validated this." It's like, uh, "Baby, Tiffany doesn't have the authority have to the validate you." Oh, Come on, so we're looking at other people saying, "Hey, can you validate wow. me? Can you can you uh, put a stamp on my calling? Put a stamp on my gifting?" And God is like, "Wait a minute, they don't have the authority. authority. Only I have the authority to validate and to stamp and to seal and to approve." Yes. Who I made you to be. Come on. Wow. So we got to make sure we're getting our validation from the only one. The only one. Who has the authority. Oh, my God. Come goodness. on. Come on. Look, that just saved someone's Come life on. right literally. there. Literally. <laughs> because that right there is literally what changes everything. Everything. When you realize that God is the only one who validates me, <laughs> that means I'll start moving in purpose and that fear won't stop Come me. on. It can. <laughs> it can. He signed off yes, on me. Yes, he signed off. Come on. Oh okay. my goodness. Look, we we're going to go to the next question. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sierra. <laughs> Look, so my next question is why do you feel, what do you feel like mm -hmm. is the greatest enemy of us embracing our authentic self? And I feel like mm -hmm. it really can go into even what you yeah. just said. But yeah. I'm going to see what God gave you. I, on I this really one. feel the greatest enemy would probably be comparison. What? Oh my goodness. Right? Because the only time I doubt what is in me yeah. is when I am balancing it up against or weighing it against something else or someone else. Wow. Right? Yeah. So we have to be very careful, women, because we, 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 we all do it. Come yes. on. No judgment. Amen. We're all in this Amen. together. We have to be careful that we don't allow ourselves to fall into the trap of mm. comparison. That's it. Right? That because she's doing it so well and she's blowing up yeah. and, and she got it all together, mm. right, that, that it makes me limit or or make small or Jesus. negate yeah. what God has invested in me right so so it has to be uh you know we live in a cancel culture yeah let's let, let's say we're gonna do cancel uh comparison yes. there you go I love it. if we're gonna cancel anything, <laughs> anything. or cancel anybody yes. let's cancel comparison oh you are you yes. I am That's me right. you are you you can only do what God called you to you have a lane, I have a lane, she has a lane, yes. and guess what? There's room for all of, all us. of us. There's room for everybody. Oh there, there, there are a billion people yes. on this earth. <laughs> Look, Come I just on. heard someone say the other day, 7.6 billion, over 7.6 billion Billion with people. a B. Billion. 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 <laughs> so why am I hung up that, that these 50 people don't really wow. rock with me? Wow. Come on. Come on. Why, why, why am I all, 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 up in, all up in arms because yeah. this 100 right here likes her more than me? Right. Huh? Right. Th there's th 7.6 billion. Yes. Find the people that are assigned to Come your on. voice. That's it. Come on. That's it, Find yeah. the people that are assigned to your life, yes. to your creation, to your business, yes. to your ministry, whatever oh it is. We cannot compare ourselves. Yes. We can. And it's such a liberation when that truly happens in yes. the heart. Yeah. Right. Sometimes we say yeah. it, right? It's almost as if Ooh. um, you know, sometimes we paint the picture that we're secure, but we're really insecure. That is true. Or we or we say we're good, but we're really not good when Come it comes on. to how our <laughs> sister is moving. But when you really get to that place yes. where you really love your sister, yes. you're really proud of your sister, yes. you're really thankful for what God 
God is doing in your sister, mm -hmm. God is like, okay, I can trust you with more. There you go. Because now your heart is not in the way of how I'm trying to bless yes, that's you. It. Because that's the thing. God yes. is concerned about our hearts in this season. That's it. And when he sees that our hearts are ready, mm -hmm. he's like, okay, you're ready for the next one. Right. I can trust you with it. You're not going to find yourself accidentally hurting someone because of that comparison. Come on. Because what's really in your heart come is going to come out and it's yeah. going to tear that person down. What they've come to you for encouragement yes. and support, but you can't do it. Come, are y'all listening? Oh my goodness. You should have told the people to get a notebook look. today. <laughs> she is preaching good today. Look, look. when y'all come on the Pine Grace Leader Show, make sure. <laughs> get your you pens and notebook. your paper. Come on. And, and look, some tissue too. And some tissue, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Sierra, that was so, so good. God is that good. was so good. God is so my next question for you is, why is it important to be a voice? Mm -hmm. in a leader for people to walk in their purpose women specifically yeah yeah so so just like how we're talking right yeah. now everybody needs a voice yes everybody needs that person mm -hmm. everybody needs that source of encouragement yes. because even though we're sitting here today and we we now have found our voice yes. and we found our strength yes. right there was a day Come where on. we didn't that's right there was a day that's when right. i was bound by fear Come on. there was a moment where maybe siobhan uh, didn't want to use her voice yes. But there was someone that encouraged us, yes. someone that loved us enough to say, hey, I see something in you and I'm not intimidated by it. I want to push it. I want to mold it. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to help you to get to the level that God has ordained for your life. It is imperative yes. that we that have a mandate to be mentors and coaches, yes. and, you know, that we stand up in our authority. Yes. Think of that wow. word again and stand wow. up in our call and really be the voice yes. that somebody else needs, yes, yeah. right? I always say, I, I want to be the woman that I needed when I was Come 20. On, that's it, that's it. I, I want to be the woman and the voice that, that I desired at 16. You know, so so I, I just encourage everybody out there. If you know that you have that calling, that God has placed that on your life, stand up in that. Use your voice. Refuse to be muzzled or silenced in this season. Because guess what? Someone's obedience Ooh. is wrapped up in your yes. My God. Somebody's pursuit <laughs> is being hindered right now because you're being silent. Oh my goodness. Right? It's bigger than it us. Is. Woo! It is it's so, so much bigger than. <laughs> us That's we it. have to do what God has called us to do in this hour oh my goodness we have to Sierra look you all to. I, I mean come on if you are not ignited, if your yeah. spirit is not yes. stirred in this moment, then we we need to uh, uh, literally get the heart monitors and uh, clear. Yeah, yeah, throw things right in the paddle. We need to resuscitate you yes. because Sierra, how you are just releasing right now. Oh my goodness! God, and that's what it is. It takes someone willing to open up their mouth. Yes. And you're so right. Someone else kept well got us out of that place yes we were once there and so once you get free yes. it is your responsibility come on and I, i'm literally reading a book by apostle matthew stevenson mm -hmm. talking about prophetic responsibility yes, and this is my second time reading it yes, and he talks about the reality is a lot of people mm -hmm. deal with the fear of responsibility mm -hmm. we're afraid of it Ooh. but the thing about it is you don't have to rely on yourself mm -hmm. your abilities your talents but you rely on the power of God being approved on your talents, yes, your giftings, and your anointing. Yes. That's what makes the difference. That's why you can move. That's why we can move, Sierra. Come on. Because we're not relying on us. I always say, God, put your super on my natural. That's it. Put your super That's on my it. natural. That's it. That's when everything changes. That's it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So, look, you all. This has been so good. And, look, Sierra, we have two more questions. Okay, okay. And it's like, woo. We're going to get through. We're going to get through. Get through. <laughs> so, my next question, Sierra, is what advice do you have? for that woman who is trying to balance loving themselves, yeah. loving their families, mm -hmm. and even loving others mm -hmm. without being overwhelmed at the different responsibilities. Mm. Like to make sure they don't forget about themselves. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. I would say literally don't try to balance. Wow. And that's gonna sound weird, right? I love it. When you think about the word balance, yeah. balance is an equal proportioning of weight, wow. right? There's no way for yeah. us to be equally committed to everything that's on wow. our plate. 
Wow. That's so, so it's kind of a false burden to say, I have to balance wow. being a mom and being a wife and running a business yes. and running a ministry yes. and taking care. It, there, there's no such thing wow. if we're being honest, it. right? Yes. The, the key is priorities. Yes. Right? Establishing priorities, making sure, first of all, God is first. Yes. That's right? He, he's, he's not a, 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 a part of the pie. Yes. He is the pie. Woo. Come on here. Come on. He's not a slice. <laughs> He, he is slice. he is what my life is centered yeah. on. He is my foundation. Yeah. He is our beginning. He is our end. He he is the, the maker. He is the come on, you know yes. what I mean? So so we have to make sure that first God is number one. Yeah. And then after that, making sure that my priorities are set up in such a way that nothing goes lacking. Oh my goodness. Right? Yeah. I know when my husband needs more. Wow. Huh? Come I know on. when I have three girls, the Lord is so wise and he gives us everything that we need. He, he shows me when my, my middle child needs more attention, when, when my baby wow. needs more attention, when my oldest went literally, I, I was um, in the house the other day and the Lord was like, I want you to spend some time with your oldest. Wow. I have a seven year old. He said, I want you guys to go to lunch. Right. So in that moment, I'm not balancing yeah. number child number one, two and three. Yeah. I am prioritizing child number one. Wow. So we go out to lunch. We sit and talk. Yeah. We, we ask her questions about what are your goals for 2021? Come on. Oh, talking to a seven year old. Yes. Come on. What, what did God do for you in 2020? Wow. Right. So but the Lord was showing me that this is priority. Yeah. In that moment, she mattered most. Right. Right. So her cup is now filled. Yeah. So now I go home and it's like, oh, wait, your husband needs some attention. I give him now all that I got. Yeah. Right. So now his cup is filled. Right. Wow. But it's not a balancing yes. act. It's priority. Oh, my goodness. Sierra. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You all. Yeah. That was yeah. so amazing because we often hear that word balance. Yeah. And you're saying, no, let's start focusing on prioritizing. Yeah. And that's so, so good. And I love that you said, look, God is first. That's it. And, and the great thing about what you said is God is revealing to you what to do next. He will. So as long as he is first, he get you literally lean into him right. for him to be able to show you this now needs Come your on. most uh, what's uh, that? Uh, your second priority uh, seek, seek, seek ye first the yes. kingdom of God and all his righteousness <laughs> and all these things will be added right, right? Oh my when goodness. we seek him first yeah. everything else is added that's wow. not just material yes. that's wisdom come mm -hmm. on here mm -hmm. that's knowledge wow. That that's the know how all these things are added when we seek him first yes Come, okay oh my goodness all right look you all that's it <laughs> and you know what in 2019 sierra i literally i went war room mode, mode in my life and um i had affirmations mm -hmm. i had a priority list god mm -hmm. told me to write your priorities out yeah. and then he had a section where it was all about what he was saying about my future mm -hmm. and so you talking about priority really hits home for me wow. because that is what i believe god wants his people to understand mm -hmm. so we're taking balance out of our yeah. lives when someone asks you how are you balancing it no i i, I have priorities right <laughs> i have priorities right. so i love that so much yeah. here so we are at the last question says Okay. And the question is, what would you like to leave with women today that speaks to their God design? Mm, okay, so just the awareness, yeah. right? And the reminder that it was God who created you. Oh uh, what is that? Psalm 139. Like, mm -hmm. he literally knit you together in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. So before you could do anything to please him, he was already pouring things into you to make you perfect. Right. It, oh, oh, it says what, when you were being made in secret. Mm. So when no one else had a word to say over you, God was speaking over you. Woo. But before anybody else could put their mouth on you, God was speaking over you. God was knitting you together. God was saying, OK, I'm going to give her this much wisdom. I'm going to give her this much faith. I'm going to give her this much creativity. I'm going to give her the ability to speak. I'm going to give her the ability to, to dream and interpret dreams when Whatever it is that you needed before you even ooh, escaped your mother's womb, God placed it inside of you. You are missing nothing. Wow. You are lacking nothing. Nothing. You are full of the goodness of God. And when we come into that, that knowledge, when we come and make that our reality, 
There's nothing mm -hmm. and no one that can hinder us, yeah. that can make us think less of ourselves. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't really care what you think. Come on, Woo. Mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> because I know what God has said about yes. me. And my first priority is not pleasing you. That's it. It's pleasing him. Oh. Right. So when we get free from from just that burden, that weight of of what everybody else is saying and, and that comparison, what everybody else is doing yes. and realize that, hey, I am created perfectly by God. Perfectly. I have everything in me that I need to succeed. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is listen for his voice and go mm -hmm. listen for his instruction and go heed his word and be that's it. I don't have to be anyone else but Sierra. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Be, you. be you. Fearlessly. Fearless. Unapologetically. Be you. Amen. That's, that's it. it. That's what it boils down to. That's enough. I mean, that is enough. God. And you know what, Sierra? Even as you were talking, yes, it reminded God. me of something that I heard recently. And it is literally one of my models for 2021. Yeah. Mind your own business. <laughs> Like live why be mind your business. <laughs> Look, mind your own business mind because business. the reality is when you just take time to focus in on you, yeah. God is able to show you the greatness on the inside of you <laughs> and what he wants you to produce yeah. and do in the earth yeah. that's literally going to change lives. Yeah. And so if you focus in 2021 yeah. on minding your own business, not in a bad way, right. but in a good way, yeah. understanding, okay, God, I want to focus in on what you desire to yes. do in me yes. because there's still inner work that we right. are yet uh, allowing God to do in us and through me as well. Yes. And that's what makes all the difference. Yes. But Sierra, like you said, look, there is nothing lacking in us. Nothing. So women of God, rise, stand up, Let's take go. your place. It is your time yeah. to move. Yes. So Sierra, thank yeah. you so much. Oh my goodness. Woman of God, <laughs> prophet of God, you have come in here and really blessed our lives. So I honor you cool. so, so much. And I you know you. how much I love you. I love you right there. I promise. <laughs> so please tell the women who are tuning in how they can connect with you. Okay, so I'm on uh, Facebook and Instagram. On Facebook, Sierra Mason is my name. On Instagram, I am Sierra Mason. I uh, also have a website, www.sierramason.com. You can go there, find out more about me, uh, find out about the Raising Women community. Um, you can also visit my store and purchase the journal. Yes. Um, and also some other materials are there. So, yeah. All right. All right, everyone. So this has been amazing. You definitely want to connect with Sierra Mason. You already know it by the time you finish this interview, so I don't even have to say it. So let's go ahead, Sierra. I love to just say a quick word of prayer. So yes. I love to pray real quick. Yes, yes. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we are just so thankful and grateful for everything that has been released in this conversation. God, we pray that you would just continue to bless every endeavor that Sierra begins to travel along because God, we understand that you have revealed it to her and so that you have given her also the ability to do everything that you've called her to do. And so, God, even for the women, God, who maybe been struggling with fear or maybe have been feeling like maybe I'm lacking something, that today they begin to break free. Today they begin to start running and moving forward. Today they heed the word that you're saying, go, go. The time is now to move. And we don't have to balance it all. But, God, we're going to prioritize and we're going to lean into you so that we can hear exactly what needs our greatest focus at a particular time. But, God, you you remain number one. So God, we love you. God, we appreciate you. And God, we honor you. In Jesus' precious name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. amen. All right, Sierra, again, thank you so, so thank much. You. We love you all so much. God bless you. And we will see you soon. But make sure you stay tuned because you know the artist spotlight is coming up. Yes. Bye. So I hope that you all are 
up off the floor by now or you have dried all your tears away after that amazing conversation with my sister Sierra Mason. You all don't leave just yet because we have an amazing artist spotlight coming up. It is Miss Ashley Bell. She is actually my cousin. She has an amazing voice. In 2020, she released her first project and guess what? She was nominated for an award and guess what? She won the award. So this is an award winning artist, Miss Ashley Bell. Get ready for the month of February because she will be the artist spotlight. So I hope you enjoy this first song and I will see you next time. Bye. Saved by love By God's son from up above I don't know why you love me so But I'm glad to know 